Good morning, LCMA. On today's edition of KTV News, we're here at the Florida State Fairgrounds. Come join us as we spend our day here at the Florida State Fair. Alright, Knights, to get the show started, we're going to fill you in on some information about where we're at. This year's Florida State Fair was from February 11th through the 21st. As with every year, it's held on a 355-acre fairgrounds in the outskirts of Tampa near the 1-800 Asbury Amphitheater. There are many attractions here at the fair, such as the Bear Show, getting close up and personal with various animals at the 4-H exhibit, catch some little porkers running wild at the pig races, and seek your adrenaline puppy on all the fun rides. Not to mention all the great food you can't get anywhere else, such as a deep fried slice of pizza and a chocolate covered bacon. My favorite fair food is funnel cake because it has sugar on it. My favorite fair food is funnel cake because it's really yummy and I like all the powdered sugar they put on it. As good as the food tastes, there's a hidden danger side of it. Deep fried foods such as corn dogs, elephant ears, and even pizza have a high level of cholesterol. Today's classroom question is which of the following has the highest level of cholesterol? A, an egg, B, five glazed donuts, or C, a single cup of ice cream? KTV investigative reporter Morgan Rosker is going to tell us what cholesterol is and how it affects our health. Morgan? Thanks, Courtney. Well, you may hear adults say that they're watching their cholesterol, but some kids and teens need to watch their cholesterol too. If you have too much cholesterol build up in your body, it can damage the most important muscle in your body, your heart. Cholesterol is a waxy fat that your body makes. Too much cholesterol can build up in the arteries of your heart, making it difficult for blood to flow through. If cholesterol blocks your arteries, you could have a heart attack. HDL is the good kind of cholesterol. It is responsible for picking up the bad cholesterol in your body and taking it over to the liver, where it is removed from the body. The good news on exercise is that it increases the amount of HDL in your body. The second type is LDL, the bad cholesterol. LDL picks up cholesterol from the liver and fatty foods and delivers it to the cells. There are many things you can do if your cholesterol levels start to get high, such as watching what you eat and exercising daily. Here are some examples to help make good eating choices. Instead of picking up that cookie in front of you, Opt to trade it for some graham crackers as a healthier option. Instead of eating french fries with your meal, ask for a baked potato. And finally, instead of a donut, eat a bagel. Your heart will thank you. Today's classroom question is, which of the following foods have the highest amount of cholesterol levels? A, an egg, B, five glazed donuts, or C, a single cup of ice cream? A, an egg. I think it's B, five glazed donuts. I have absolutely no idea, but because it's always the way with my luck, it'll probably be what I enjoy the most, and that would be the glazed donuts, B. Single cup of ice cream. If you chose C, a single cup of ice cream, you were correct. So next time, skip the scoop and go for a cup of fresh fruit for dessert instead. I'm Morgan, reporting for KTV News. All that food news made me somewhat hungry, even though it looks like I'll be eating the salad bar instead of the pizza. Let's see what we're having for lunch and so much more with our Riga Automotive sponsored School 411. Information is key. It is just as essential for your parents to be kept up to date on LCMA as you. There will be a PTSA, PTSA, Parent Education Night in the cafeteria at 7 p.m. tonight. Tonight, parents will be informed about areas of interaction and the learning profiles. Another reason. Another reason. Another reason to get your parents to attend is you could earn a Toy Stress Day tomorrow. For more information on other events coming up in the next few weeks, you can go to www.lcmanightsonline.com. Hey Knights, I'm Gossip Grace, here to bring you today's school gossip. 
I've been searching the school high low to find out from others what school events are coming up. And here's what I just found out. Eighth graders, start getting your good night's rest because on Tuesday, March 1st, you'll be taking the writing portion of the FCAT. Sixth and seventh graders, remember that if there's a red sign on the door that reads, do not disturb, it means do not disturb. Hopefully you have been keeping your kick guard clean because remember on Friday, March 4th, there will be a choice dress for all kids who have two or less marks. I know there's been a lot of discussions about having hotline or a la carte, but today I think you'd have hotline because today at school we'll be having chicken nuggets, green beans, mashed potatoes, and a choice of your drink. I'll dish up some more gossip as soon as I hear it. I'm Gossip Grace reporting for KTV News. There are a lot of different experiences you can have here at the Florida State Fair, such as going on carnival rides like these ones behind me and so many more. Finally, you can stroll through Florida's Bridge Pass in Cracker County. Cracker County is a living history museum reliving Florida's past. Let's head on over to KTV reporter Josh Baker with more. Imagine a life without all of the modern conveniences that we are so used to today, such as cell phones, microwaves, cars, and computers. That is how Florida's pioneers came to the state with only the customs and traditions of their past homes and the dream of a new beginning in Florida. The word Cracker Country comes from Years ago, when the cowboys were coming into town with their cattle and that, they'd crack their whips and the townspeople could hear them from miles away and say, here come the crackers. Well, Cracker Country was given to us by Mr. and Mrs. Doyle Carlton in 19, I believe, 78. They were going to tear down uh, the two-story house that's over in Cracker Country that Mr. Carlton's father was born in. And Mrs. Carlton realized that the kids of your generation would not know what life was like 100 years ago. So she and her husband, Doyle, got together and talked to the state and were able to put in buildings from around the state of Florida. You can experience the life of a cracker at Cracker County, located at the Florida State Fairgrounds. Well, and I, that about wraps up today's show. To end the show, we'll share with you some sights and sounds from the 2011 Florida State Fair. Have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow.